The bill that would change the way social workers are licensed in Utah has passed the House and is ready for a vote in the Senate. The bill sponsor says it will remove unnecessary barriers to the field. But as KSL's Daniela Rivera reports, critics say the bill gets rid of an important safety measure and could put the public at risk. I would encourage legislators to slow down here. This is very urgent. Republican Representative Marsha Judkins is sponsoring House Bill 250. It would get rid of one of two tests social workers take upon graduation and create an alternative path to licensure for those unable to pass the other test. An extra 2,000 hours of supervised practice. There is implicit bias in this test. Judkins points to data showing people of color and those who speak English as a second language pass at lower rates. This is just a huge barrier for people being able to work in their own communities. Utah Social Work Licensing Board opposes the bill and says it will endanger Utah families. The uh, alternate path is already problematic in that we have social workers without proper training or qualifications who are making some of the most vital decisions regarding uh, child abuse. Marette Monson chairs that board, but spoke with us in her capacity as a licensed clinical social worker. It could hurt us quite a bit in the long run in an effort to work on our shortage. She says under House Bill 250, some licenses issued in Utah would not be valid in other states. She also warns changing Utah's licensing process could keep the state from joining the National Compact, a deal in the works that would allow social workers living in Utah to practice in other states that also opt in. The profession is speaking out, me, one of them, but also many students and other social workers who are saying, don't do this. Judkins says those who choose the alternative path will know where their license allows them to practice. As for the compact, it's not a done deal, she says, and other states are starting to move away from the test too. This is a barrier. Yesterday, the Senate Business and Labor Committee heard quite a bit of public testimony both for and against the bill, ultimately deciding to pass it out with a favorable recommendation, though Senator Bramble said he does anticipate a challenge once it goes to the Senate floor for a vote. For KSL 5 News, I'm Daniela Rivera. Daniela, thank you.